We're going to be doing the due diligence on some multifamily assets in the Cleveland market. Kyle and Jacqueline, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise. I'm coming to you guys from my home office outside of the normal Holton Wise TV studio due to all the, uh, you know, situations we're dealing with in the world right now with uh, COVID-19, etc. Now, just because we are not in our offices does not mean the Holt My staff is still not helping investors invest, does not mean that our field staff is not helping you guys with the, the maintenance and everything of that nature. We are able to handle everything and anything we would normally be able to handle, right? Construction, maintenance, things like that. Those are um, essential businesses, right, in Ohio. So we are still putting deals under contract. We are still closing deals through escrow. We are still handling renovations. We are still going to homes to fix any repairs and maintenance issues as they occur. The only things that are slightly different is non-essential employees, employees that can do the same work for you guys off-site are working off-site. So I'm from my home office. Some other members of my media and sales team are working out of their home offices. But Essential Field staff is there for you guys. So do not think that you need to pause on your investing. As a matter of fact, I think right now is a really good time to invest because you got a lot of other people out there that are holding that cash back. They're trying to get liquid. And when everyone else is zigging, sometimes it makes the most sense for you to zag. I started Holton Wise on the tail end of the last Great Recession. And that has turned into a portfolio valued well over $50 million. I've sold almost $200 million worth of real estate when I began selling turnkey assets and helping other investors invest just like I did. So uh, right now is a good time, in my opinion, to be aggressive. And Kyle and Jacqueline, you two agree with me. Uh, this is the first video we're going to be doing together. We're going to be doing a series of many videos because I'm going to be analyzing 10 properties for you guys. A little bit about you guys. Uh, Jacqueline, you're a doctor. Uh, Kyle, you work in investment management. You folks are living in South Africa. In addition, you've got uh, the parents, the rents are going to be working with you guys, possibly the four of you guys building up a nice little uh, family run office, family portfolio. That's what I like to see. Very good. You know, putting all your assets together, right? And uh, making some moves because, you know, this is a game of scale, right? You got you to gotta buy several properties before it makes any sense. You know, nobody is uh, making any, you know, wealth changing moves by buying one or two properties. So that's good. You guys are uh, allocating all of your resources together. Currently, right now, you guys are looking for BC assets, multifamily or single family. You're trying to stay within the 70 to 120K range because we're working with $28,000 right now. Uh, the goal here for you guys, you guys are looking to be around a 8% cash on cash return, minimum 6%. Good news for you guys is the two properties I have found for you both well exceed those numbers. So that's going to be great. They're both going to be stable. You guys are trying to avoid the Section 8 right now, which is totally cool. I mean, you guys are all the way out there in South Africa, right? So you're looking for stability over risk. So that's totally uh, fine. That makes sense. And I got something for you. So let's get right into it. 410 East 222nd Street, Euclid, Ohio, 44123. I love Euclid. You know, uh, they recently finished completion and had it up and running the Amazon Fulfillment Center. I was very high on Euclid prior to that project being completed. Love that. Now more than ever, I love investing in areas near the Amazon Fulfillment Center. I mean, look, guys, you know, going with, uh, you know, what's going on out there in the world today. So many businesses are being shut down. But, you know, Amazon is... Uh, you know, it's, their business is probably, uh, you know, skyrocketing right now. So, you know, if you're going to invest in an area, it's very, very smart to invest in something where 
a lot of your tenant base could possibly be working at that uh, location. And, you know, that is just a job creator. I mean, they can't hire enough people right now. So being in Euclid's solid neighborhood, that makes a lot of sense. Now, this is listed by an agent out of Howard Hanna. They've listed it at 109900 I believe that is too high. What they've got in there right now, they got two tenants. You know, we got two beds, one bath. Each tenant is paying $600 a month. You can see that from the MLS printout. But that is way too low. The story with those tenants is they've both been in there for at least seven years. The rent hasn't been raised since 2013 that's why that rent is so damn low 600 a unit that is way way too low what we need to do is assume you're going to be able to get the rents up to 750 a month because honestly that's probably on the low side we could probably even get those up to like eight eight and a quarter uh but i would assume to get them all the way up to market eight and eight to eight and a quarter we would have to do some turns and that of course would increase your cost so I think what we need to do is slowly work on a way to get these rents up. I mean, dude, they've been there since at least 2013. They haven't had a rental increase since 2013. You ain't renting a duplex in Euclid that is, is this nice for $600 a month. So I think we go up 50 bucks and then, you know, wait 12 months, go up another 50, get them, squeak them up to 750, hope to do it without a turnover because if we could avoid turnovers, that'd be great. As far as the pricing goes, I believe we should be able to get this for you for 95,000. That should be our target. Will we get it for 95,000? I can't guarantee that, right? I don't know what the seller is thinking. You know, they could just be crazy and not want to accept. That would be a hell of a deal. If you got to pay a little more, if you got to pay like 98 or like 100, I still think that's a solid deal. I, I, I mean, even if we had to pay 109, I don't think it's the end of the world, but I believe we can do a little bit better because I think a lot of other investors out there are just going to be looking at the current rents the $600 a month rents and they might be missing the boat here. They may not understand that that is just way dramatically lower than what it should be. I mean, that's what you hire me for, right? That's what you guys do business with me for. Cause I can give you, you know, a pure transparent look into the market. Other investors might see 600 and they just think that that's the price. And, you know, from a price to rent ratio, paying 110,000 for 600 a month uh, in rent for each of these duplex units doesn't really make that much sense. It's not as attractive of a deal, but uh, you know, with me, you know, no BS. There is definitely 300 bucks a month on the table for you, just right for the picking because of just how nice this neighborhood is, how nice the property is going to be. So once we get them rents all the way up to 1500, what's that going to look like? Well, of course, we're still going to need to factor in costs, right? We're going to factor in 75 for repairs and maintenance, 75 for vacancy and non-payment, 75 for CapEx, right? Solid neighborhood solid employer, you know, one of the biggest employers in the country, right? Everything in the world is going crappy right now, except for that business. That business is skyrocketing. So, I mean, you've got some very stable things happening in the particular neighborhood that this property is in, but that does not mean that we could just pretend that you are going to have tenants paying rent 100% of the time for the rest of your life. Now, these two tenants, yeah, they've been paying for at least seven years. We know that for a fact. There hasn't been any vacancies or turnovers, but eventually those are going to occur. So you need to keep pocketing that 75 a month for the vacancy and non-payment, for those repairs and maintenance, right? For those CapEx, because eventually it's going to happen. And dude, you got tenants that have been in there, you know, for this long, right? I mean, if these folks stay in here another three years, dude, you're looking at like 10 years since there's been a turnover. So you need to understand, dude, your next turnover, that's going to be like 5, 10K per unit. We got to totally overhaul and update this thing. But once we do that, you know, we're looking at rents north of 800 bucks a unit. Um, but see, we just right now, right, we got to factor that in. We got to save that. So yeah, that money's going to be going in your pocket, but don't really consider that part of your return because it's really not because you know those costs are coming up. As far as your roof, 30 years, man, that's how long these roofs last. I don't know how old this roof is. Your inspector should be able to tell us that. Um, you know, sometimes we do these deals and uh, the sellers, you know, you'd be like, how old is the roof? And their response would be, the roof is good. Well, what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah, the roofs, they last about 30 years, okay? So maybe on your 27, the roof don't, don't leak, right? So it's good. But a good roof on your 27 is not the same on a, as a good roof on your five, right? On your five, you got about 25 years left. Your 27, you got about three years left. So we got to factor that in. That's what the CapEx, that's what you're saving that money for is because every 30 years, man, you're going to be dropping six, 
seven, eight thousand dollars to replace these roofs. The two furnaces, same thing. They last about thirty years. Those cost about three grand. And hot water tanks, you got to replace those twice as many times as the furnaces, right? Those last roughly fifteen years. But the good news is they're cheap. They're only about one thousand dollars to replace. So that is why we're factoring all that in there. Other stuff, right? Normal stuff. Tax is 307, insurance 80. My team can insure this for you. I want you guys all to click in the link below. I've got a link down there to help you guys all save money on your homeowner's insurance. We actually own an insurance company. We own a farmer's business. We are also appointed with several other independent uh, insurance providers out there. So we only deal with landlord insurance. So we're able to beat your prices down. So anybody watching the show right now, I don't care where your properties are in the United States of America, click that link. No uh, obligation or anything like that. Let us quote you. We could probably beat down your premium. Now more than ever, it's important for you guys to focus on lowering your costs. If you're one of those investors out there who is cautious right now and you're not trying to uh, acquire more properties like Kyle and Jacqueline are, that's fine. I disagree with your strategy, but I understand your strategy. So at the very least though, what you need to be doing, if you're not trying to acquire new income, you need to lower your existing costs, right? Make some money that way in these troubling times. Moving on back to the chart, water sewer, 150 bones, lawn care, 44. And of course my favorite PM, you got to pay the man, right? 150. JY's loves the money. So of that 1500 we should be bringing in, reasonable to assume you guys are going to be spending 956 to keep this bad boy afloat, which is going to leave us 544 a month, which is 6500 or so a year. Now, that is going to equate to a 6.9 cap, keeping you guys perfectly in line with what you want to do. You got up to $28,000 to put into this thing. So our mortgage down payment only going to be twenty three thousand seven hundred fifty. Our mortgage is teeny three hundred, and that's going to hit another one of your numbers. You're hoping to get at least hundred bucks a door. This is going to provide you a two forty four a door, and the cap rate exceeded what you guys, or I'm sorry, the cash on cash return exceeded what you guys were hoping. You guys were hoping for a minimum of six, preferably eight. We've doubled your minimum. We're at twelve point three percent. Now, one other thing I didn't mention because everything seems great. Euclid is a city in the Cleveland market that has what's called point of sale inspections. In the links, uh, in the description below, there's going to be a link to a video all about point of sale violations, point of sale inspections. I want you guys to watch that video. I explained the entire process. And what we're going to do, we're going to want to make an offer on this property. Again, our target price is going to be 95K. We may have to go up above that a little bit, right? But that's okay. Still going to be a solid deal. The numbers are still great here. This is a great neighborhood. It's very stable. I, I like this property quite a bit. We are going to make that offer contingent on inspection, right? The inspector might show us some things we don't know, right? You guys bought desktop analysis. I'm sitting here on my desk. We do need to get boots on the ground. We need to physically get someone inside this property. I've only showed you a couple pictures because that's all I've been provided. So we're going to need the inspector to really go through this thing with a fine tooth comb uh, to see if there's any things that we don't know yet, right? Due diligence. It's very important to get these analysis from me, but it's just the start, right? There's more due diligence we need to do. We need to to really, you know, dot our I's, cross our T's, okay? So we're going to make it contingent on a third-party home inspection. You guys are financing, so it's going to be contingent on an appraisal. And then we're going to make it contingent on these sellers providing you guys with a clear point of sale report. And again, for more information on what I mean when I say a clear point of sale report, I want you to click the POS video in the show notes below. Now we're going to go to a word from the sponsors of today's show, and I'm going to get into the second property that I found for you too. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio, we work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, 
FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. All right, Kyle and Jacqueline, welcome back, folks. Now, the second property that I've got for you guys, right? I am going uh, a little bit off the beaten path here, just a little bit, right? I, I think this makes a lot of sense. Now, there's some things you guys have told me uh, that this is going to differ from, but this is a really solid property. And I think you guys possibly could make this work. So I really wanted to bring it to your attention. I didn't want you guys to lose out on this opportunity if you have the ability to make it work. It's 317 Center Road, Bedford, Ohio, 44146. Now, I know you're trying to stay um, on a lower budget. You're trying to, you have 28K, right? This particular property, if you did financing, would require a little bit more, but I know Kyle, you said you have $100,000 coming to you in the near future. And you've also got the parents who are interested in investing with you guys as well. So, you know, more or less, as far as from like a cash outlay, we're only approximately going to be about $10,000 outside of the available cash money you have today. So I feel like if the deal is good enough, you've got the ability to make something happen. Now, this was a property that I've already analyzed for another one of my clients. He was uh, a foreign national, so he was not interested in financing at that time. But what I want to do, because he ended up passing on this, we did some other deals. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to show you guys that footage, and then we're going to get some more in-depth discussion going on this property in relation to you guys specifically. So let's take a look now. 317 Center Road, Bedford, Ohio, 44146. This is a BC neighborhood. This is a solid neighborhood. So you have no neighborhood concerns. Very stable. This property was just listed two weeks ago by a realtor from Westway Realty. The list price, $149,900. You're going to have to be more aggressive on this one. This is a quad. This is a hell of a deal. Since you're going to be paying cash, that's more attractive than the other bidders because this is going to have multiple offers guaranteed. So since you're coming in cash, I'm hoping maybe we can get you a slight discount. Pick this up for $145,000. But if we get into a bidding war, you're probably going to have to increase that to pay list or maybe a grand or two above list. If you do, don't worry. Still going to make sense. This is a solid deal. You absolutely want to take this one down. What it is currently bringing in, we got four one-bedroom, one-bath units. Rent roll on the screen brings in $2,240 a month or $26,880 a year. Now, not all those rents are market rents. Those, uh, those rents are a little bit off. In my opinion, market rents for each one of these units is going to be 600 a unit. So three of the units, we could increase the rent. One of the units, they're, they're running it at 645. I, I don't know what the situation is, how they got that particular tenant to pay that. Uh, if you try to rent things for above market price, every once in a while, you'll get certain tenants who will do it. But I don't want to make you feel uh, like 645 is the target. I think that's a little fluffed. I don't know. It's, it seems like a one-off to me. I would not anticipate we're going to put four tenants in there on a regular basis, all paying 645. I think the more appropriate market price is going to be 600. So that does add 1600, or I'm sorry, it does add 160 bucks a month to your monthly rent roll. But uh, you know, that's just what's reasonable, right? We, we may be up Sometimes we may be down, but that is a reasonable expectation. That's what it's all about here, providing you reasonable expectations, right? This is rental real estate. There's an unlimited amount of variables at all times. Um, I just try to give you the closest thing to what you can anticipate. But running the numbers based upon what the property is currently doing with the current monthly rental, um, monthly rental, uh, monthly rent roll, eh, couldn't get that out, of 2240 a month, what does it look like? Well, I believe we'll be spending... 1371 of that 2240 a month, leaving you with an NOI of 869. Now, if you pick this up for 145,000 and you're making an NOI of 869 a month on average, that is a 72 cap. And of course, 
that could go up if we got the, the rental income a little bit higher. All right, guys. So that property, right? Center, center road. I, I think this is nice, man. I, I can't talk enough about how important it is to make moves on these quads when they come up, right? Yes, we're a little bit uh, above your price range, but you know, for reasons discussed earlier in the show, I think you guys might be able to make it happen. Uh, if not, that's cool, right? We're, we got the, we got the duplex from the beginning of the show. That's perfect. Checks all your boxes. In addition, I'm going to be doing another eight properties for you. Now, as I mentioned, right, my guy, he was a foreign national, so financing wasn't in the cards for him, um, but you guys, it very much would be, so I want to pull that chart back up with the finance numbers added to it now, so mortgage down payment, 36250 right, you guys are trying to stick to like, what, 28 k so we're like 8250 right, I feel like if the deal's good enough, you know, 8250 is a pretty easy amount of money to come up with if we did that. We just tack on a little 458 mortgage payment. Checks your boxes. 411 a month is my anticipated net cash flow after that mortgage payment. You're trying to make a hundred bucks a door. This hits that, exceeds that, as a matter of fact, in your cash on cash return minimum, 6%. We more than double that because this would bring in 13.6%. So for those reasons, Kyle, Jackie. I feel like this particular property, even though it's a little bit above your budget, would be a hell of a deal, would be a great move for your first property here in the Cleveland market. So if you want to buy this quad in Bedford, or if you want to buy the duplex in Euclid, I'm sending you guys this video in a private link. You're watching this right now. You know, you'll just reply all to that. You know, it's going to be myself on there and then my team of assistants. And uh, we are going to go through this. We'll talk about the offers. You know, one other thing too, uh, I was really thinking my, my previous client would nail this down at 145. I'm hoping you guys get the opportunity to nail it down at that price, but you're not going to pay cash like he was going to pay cash. So you may need to pay list price because your offer wouldn't be as attractive as his. And I think we're going to have other bidders out there interested in this because quads are so rare. So just keep that in mind as well. But, you know, we'll continue this via email. We'll go through uh, the process. We'll get you set up on both these deals uh, if you offer on both or if you just offer on one. You know, whatever happens. I don't know. Maybe you're bringing mom and dad in earlier than you're originally anticipating and you guys try to take both deals down. I don't know, but we'll go through the things from there. Everyone else is watching this video. If you are watching this video right now and you're not Jackie and you're not Kyle or their folks, you're probably watching this 60 to 90 days after uh, all this stuff has went down. These deals are long gone. These videos get sent to my clients privately, and we do not release them publicly on Holton Wise TV until everything is gone, the dust has settled. So if you'd like to work with me personally, one-on-one, -on -one, get me and my team working on your behalf to find you guys the properties. Go to HoltonWise.com, click the property search for sale tab, scroll down to the MLS search analysis show, order a package today. In addition, if you're an investor that doesn't need the one-on-one -on -one work, the one-on-one -on -one due diligence, and you just are ready to make bids, you've been interested in the Cleveland market for a long time, and you're just ready to rock, make sure you are subscribed to our mailing list because we email you episodes of the Investment Properties for Sale show every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that show a little different than this one. That show is where we have actually been hired by sellers to sell those properties, or I'm selling you guys properties that I own. Management's usually in place. Um, sometimes it's not, but we still are able to take it over on your behalf and you're just able to bid on those properties right then and there. A few clicks and you're, you're bidding, man. We provide you guys video tours inside these properties. So we get in there and give you guys all the information you're going to need to know to make an educated decision. A little bit different than this, but still that is where we sell a ton of properties because, you know, we are at Holton Wise. We actually are the number one seller of rental properties in the entire Cleveland market because this is all we do, folks. If, uh, you know, you're out there and you're like, dude, this James guy, he knows what's up with real estate. I'd love for him to represent me and my family when we buy our personal home that we're going to live in. I'm sorry, but that's not what I do. I don't do that. I would never drive around with you guys and I'd never talk to you guys about drapes or anything of that nature. That's, that's just not my gig. Yes, I am a uh, real estate agent. I have a real estate license, but all we do is sell rental properties. All we do is work with investor clients. So Sorry, folks, if you're looking to buy uh, a regular traditional sale, if you're looking for that experience, we are not the company for you. We are all about investing. All we do is sell these properties as monetary investments, right? We sell money. We don't 
you know, delve into the regular residential space. So if all that works, I've given you guys all the information on how to work with us. Uh, if that doesn't, but you like the show, please give us a thumbs up. You guys stay safe out there. That's all I've got for today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact, combined with the high price-to-rent ratio, is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee, as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.